Good morning, everybody. It is Chris. Welcome back to the Team Aquascape channel. Today, we have a very special project for you. Captain Jack himself is now going to turn into Professor Jack, and he's going to lead this group of interns behind me. Say hi, everybody. Hello. Okay, this is our group of interns. They are sophomores and a junior at Wheaton Academy, right up the street, and Jack over here is going to lead them through about a seven by nine foot pond build. You guys sat in here all last week sitting through the Aquascape Academy. Hopefully you learned something. Now it's time to put that to the test. Yep. You guys excited? Yes, sir. Jack, are you excited? I am. Okay, good. Right. So Jack's gonna take very good care of you. He's gonna walk you through all the 20 products and 20 steps, exactly the way we teach it in the Academy. So at the end of the day, when you guys are done, we're gonna come back here and evaluate you and find out if you guys were successful or not. Does that sound fair? Awesome. Okay, Jack, you ready to get going? Yep. Let's go. So we are going on step seven. We got the underlayment and liner in. And right now you can tell that two of them are hooking up the skimmer and then two of them are grabbing gravel and grabbing rock to stage on our patio. So right now we're doing the same thing that we do in our academies that we're doing this efficiently as possible and what we would do out in the field. <laughs> rocking and rolling on this pond. Actually, we are on, let me spin you guys around. Step number eight, which is rocking in the pond. So we already have the skimmer hooked up. Doing great. Yeah, the kids are doing a good job. We already got a decent selection of rocks sitting on the patio. We got our wheelbarrows of gravel and cobbles staged and the skimmer is already installed as you can see. So Brett right now is rocking in the pond, going along and just working his way around. <laughs> So as you can tell, I got Jack Danley and Steve over there. I brought some reinforcements in to help. I guess we can help the kids better and I'm not running around and trying and not giving my full potential to everybody. We are 95% done of rocking in the pond. Right now, they're getting ready for our frame rocks. So the challenge that you run into with these smaller ponds is that we're only working with a 12 by 15 liner and that bio falls, instead of having it set right up against the edge of the pond, that means we have to get rock almost a foot and a half to two feet tall going from this shelf down here all the way up to the top of that bio falls. So what we did was push back that bio falls a little bit and then pull the edge of the pond farther in. That way we could kind of almost get a double drop waterfall if we wanted to. With this one, I think we're only gonna go with one singular drop, but it allows us to make the shelf down here so that our frame rocks are to our height that we need it to. So it looks like that rock has to go up a little bit more, so we might have to get another layer of rock work down on this bottom shelf to raise that rock up. Jack's over here working on the bio falls, kind of finishing it up, nice straight line. So 
Right now we are on step 10 of the 20 steps pond build. And right now they're rinsing down the pond. We're trying to get it nice and clean. So that way when we're done finishing, securing the biofalls and building our waterfall, we can fill this pond up. And that way we can work on retaining walls and getting the pond buttoned up. just came and found me. It sounds like they have the pond full and are ready to start doing edges. And you wanted me to come check it out and give my two cents before they get too much further along. But why don't we see what's going on here? Oh my gosh. I can't believe how much you guys have gotten done. Dude, this is crazy. Look at this. That's pretty impressive. For Jack and four high schoolers, over about two and a half hours, it looks incredible. Granted, the digging was done, but you are right, Jack, you are ready to, to start edging. So yeah. this is one of the things that we so often see customers, DIYers, right? Contractors even screw up occasionally is the edging. So yeah. you're gonna get to that point now where you're gonna teach these guys the, the different edging techniques, yeah. the same way we do in the academy. So that's great. So I guess I'm gonna stand on the other side of the camera and actually watch you guys film this stuff. So yeah. good. So who are you teaching? If Rhett and Luke want to come over, they can watch. But if all four of them want to come over for a quick second, I can show them how to do this small section of edging. And then that way they have an idea of what to do. And then that way they can, they can kind of rotate on who wants to help me throughout the rest of the pond. Cool. Who's been doing the most work? They've all been great. It's cool to see them because this reminds me of how I was. I helped Greg when I was 14 do my pond. And it's cool to see these guys get in there and like be excited about everything. As long as it's not you doing all the work. And it no. is, it <laughs> yeah, is truly you guys. So. Yeah. Yeah. But no baloney, I've been kind of keeping an eye on you guys and they have definitely been motoring through this. So you guys brought some good energy today. Yeah. So good Thanks. job on that. And well, let's get some edging done. Let's do it. One of the first things we do is we always fill the pond when doing the edges along the pond. And I can't emphasize that enough is you really want to know where water level is supposed to be in the pond before you start doing the edges and doing all those funky folds back behind the rocks. It always helps to have partners when doing edges. So we like to do edges in two to three people, depending on the size of the project, but no less than two people working on edges at a time. So I'm excited what you guys are gonna do. It looks like the pond is full, right? Yeah. So get after it. Yeah. Let's do it. All right, so I know I was showing Luke and Brett earlier. With this edge, we, we cut back some of this so we don't have such a bulky liner. I know where my water line's at all the way down here, so I cut back all that liner because I didn't need it. And I'm gonna go along, and I start off over here, and I'm gonna go back, and as you can see back here, I made a trench so I could tuck my liner back behind those rocks, and that way it's a lot easier to hide that liner. We see a lot of times where people just kind of lay this liner down flat and just do a ring of gravel and we, we like to call it the ring of pearls type look and you don't want to do that in nature you don't see a ring of gravel all the way around a stream or a pond one, that one section you'll have a gravel pond. so one thing i think that is super cool right now is that you know these are all things even the way jack is explaining edges to these interns is something that's really really neat because i'm seeing him almost verbatim teach them exactly the way that he's been taught and the easiest way to learn something is to teach it so this makes me so happy just to see how well he's doing educating and encouraging these kids building a pond because he's not too far removed from the exact same situation that these kids are in so just really really love seeing the passion that he's pouring into it and the excitement of them but great job and it's just neat because this could be our future generation of pond builders right here you never know really really enjoy watching this <laughs> So this is where you'll want to get like a bucket of soil to have on standby so that as he folds that liner and stuff back behind these rocks, then it's nice and easy. where it helps having two people because we said in our videos before it's one person's holding this liner another person is going to be able to come back and push and pack all that dirt against that rock because if you don't pack all that dirt against that rock in the future a, a leak could form and then if you're a contractor or a homeowner you're gonna have to go back and find a leak in your pond in which you don't want that <laughs> So 
So Luke right now is going along. He watched me do my edge. So he wanted to take over between the patio and the skimmer on how to do this edge. So he's going along, taking that liner and he's fold it. Yep, just like how he's doing right now, tucking it back behind and he's just going along. See how it's nice and tight and folded. We're just gonna move this liner down a little bit farther just so the patio, or you can't see the liner between the rock and the patio. And he's just gonna go along and he's gonna do the same thing all the way along this entire edge. It's looking great, Luke. That's Luke's first edge all by himself. So it turned out pretty good. I like this dirt down here. How this dirt just hugs this rock and not just a big gravel vein. He kind of did everything that I mentioned earlier. He has a gravel pocket over there. So the gravel slopes up from the liner on top of the gravel. And then the liner, which I love how he did here. That liner is right there. And he, and so much we see, even sometimes I do it, is that I'll end the cobbles inside the liner. And instead of leaving the cobbles inside the liner, I brought those cobbles out. In this case, I brought this one outside of it just to carry your eye past um, that edge. And so makes it look like you can't tell where the water begins and the land begins. So great job, Luke. As you guys can hear, uh, we got water running back there. Yes, sir. I don't think we should show all the viewers just yet uh, what we created. First, we should go get Chris. What do you guys think? Let's go get Chris. Yeah. yeah. In this instance, Chris will be our homeowner and we are gonna show them our final product. So I'm gonna go back there and go grab them. <laughs> So the guys back here are building a bridge for our Arts of the Year project. And there's Chris there. Well. Hi, Chris. Hey. What are you guys working on? Uh, we're working on a bridge for Joey's design. That nice. He unfortunately can't be here to create his design, so we're working on it for him. Right now we're working on building a bridge. So are you ready for me? Yeah, I am. I can't wait, honestly. I really, really can't. How'd they do? It's nice to see the younger generation to finally like be into this stuff. Like you don't see that too often. Younger generation. I know, I know, I'm, I know, but it's younger than me. Young, younger than me. But it's nice to see them. They're interactive and they're they're super into it. Like well, all of them were. We're not even in there and I can see them. They're on that patio taking photos and video of the like the finished product so they must be pretty pumped up because that's normally what we do yeah so i'm excited oh dude that's awesome that is really cool really 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 cool nice job you guys thank you sir very very good job I like the waterfall. That is not an easy waterfall to build right off the side of the pond. That looks really sharp. There's so much about it that I could, I'm impressed. I mean, is this the first pond for all you guys? Yeah, first pond. I mean, I think you built one before, right? I've just helped out with some, like, right. just like the details of them. That's been my best though. I mean, what did you guys think? It was really fun. I yeah? It, it was a lot easier than I expected. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. Easier than they expected. I think we should put them to the work. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we need to do a bigger pond. Yeah, I think next time. What did you think? I think it was a cool experience. Yeah. I've never really done anything like this. So did you guys feel that you learned enough to get yourself going by sitting through the academy last yeah. week? Yeah. And then, did that give you some of the confidence? Yeah, yeah. Yes. definitely. And then to have Jack. Oh yeah, oh, yeah. Jack. Go ahead, Jack. Jack. And then to have Jack over yeah. here. Yeah. Hey, hey. <laughs> See, I leave my Jack's the man. So it's pretty cool because Jack, not long ago, was in the same situation as you guys, 14, 15 years old, right? Building his first pond. And now, four or five years later, he's now teaching people that same age to build, build pond so the funny part is i did almost the exact same size kit and that was pretty much how i got introduced into aquascape was i built it with greg it was greg and a few kids that we pretty much built a pond in a day and it was the same size waterfall off the side and a skimmer and a seven by nine pond gosh this is so cool you guys it looks absolutely incredible that is not an easy waterfall to build right off the side especially with the size rock that you have and the fact that you're not seeing the bottoms of either of your frame rocks which i'm sure jack probably talked about is a huge no-no right stack rock on top of rock so you may do and had that quick double drop i love it that is not easy to do i love how disguised and hidden the biofalls is which is another thing that's very very important but i just like the shape of it it's a very like for the size pond there's not a whole lot that you guys can do and you did a fantastic job i love how close you brought water level into this patio which is something that we do during the academy the gathering space and viewing areas the drift who did the driftwood over there that's like 
Six. A combination of all four of you? Yeah. It looks incredible. I love the plants. I like the difference in some of the edges where you've got some cobble edges over here, then you've got a big boulder, and then this little plant pocket over there. And then likewise, you've got a couple big boulders with some plants draping over the side, covering up some of the rock work, so it's not all rock. What do we say? The most successful water features are the ones where you can't tell where the land stops and the water begins, and I think you guys nailed it. It looks incredible. I'm gonna give it an 11 out of 10 on this. I think they did a fantastic job for their first pond. We're gonna let it run overnight. If it leaks, then it goes from an 11 out of 10 to a zero out of 10. But I'm, I'm confident, given Jack's supervision and these kids' careful attention to detail, that we're going to be fine. But it looks absolutely spectacular. I'm going to turn it back over to Jack. I love it. I hope you guys did too. But I'm going to give the camera back over to Jack and have him get some final parting thoughts from our gracious intern. So thanks a lot, you guys. You guys did fantastic. Jack, you did okay too. Thanks. All right, so we got the blessing from Chris, as you can tell, all the great remarks that he said. And so I'm going to turn it around and ask the guys and girls what they think of everything. So Kylie, what do you think of it? I think it was really cool. I've never really done anything like this, so it was pretty cool to see how they do all this cool stuff. And yeah, it was good to learn a lot of new stuff. What do you think, you guys think it was a lot easier or harder, considering you guys saw it two times where us putting it in and not you guys? Yeah, if I wasn't there during the academy, I would have no idea what to do. So being there really helped, and I think with you helping, it was such a big help, and yeah, it was pretty cool. Nice. Kaden? Yeah, I think for me, I think it was definitely easier than I expected. I think the hard part was just the heaviness of the rocks. But I think I think it's just an art, and I think we kind of learned like what to do as we went along. But yeah, I really liked it. It was a good experience. Nice. Brett? I thought it was really fun. My favorite part was the rock placement, because you could just get like so creative with where you put all the stuff. And the landscaping just makes it look even better. So I wasn't expecting it to be this much fun, but... That's why we have so much fun on our videos. <laughs> Luke? I definitely enjoyed it a lot and I learned a lot and I'm definitely gonna incorporate it into my next project that I'm gonna do. Probably the hardest part was I messed up like the edge and I redo it, but it was trial and error and I eventually got it where I wanted to. Nice. So normally when we do the on uh, this size feature, we're doing it in front of a bunch of contractors, but this time we got to do it with four high schoolers. So it's nice to see that and they had such a fun time. And I had a fun time leading them. It's just cool. Like Chris said earlier, a couple years ago I was in their shoes and it's cool to see it's such a quick turnaround time to where I was. And it's cool to see these guys and see where they're gonna be at in the next five years if they stick with this. And let me spin you guys around and show you. So this is the final product. We got a little two drop waterfall up there. The water is a little murky, it'll clear up in a couple hours. Got some landscaping in, got all our retaining wall stones in, got a nice piece of driftwood sitting off to the side. Uh, oh, and there are the lights, oh. So yeah, as always, like, comment, and subscribe. And if you guys wanna see what Chris and the guys were doing with that bridge back there, stay tuned, because those videos are coming up. So as always, stay tuned.